my candy room. This is where we dip the chocolates. It's important that the temperature for dipping chocolates be anywhere between 65 and 68 degrees. And so I've made a little candy room that I use to dip my chocolates each year. And here's just a variety of the chocolates that we make. Today we're gonna to show you how to dip. And we're gonna uh, talk about the chocolate. We're gonna talk about the melters. I've been dipping chocolates for about 24 years. And about half of that time, I did it using an electric frying pan. And that's a method that you'll probably be trying to begin with. And then later on, you might wanna pick up a chocolate melter. And they run for anywhere from about $300 to $400 but they make it so you can make a larger volume of chocolates and it makes a melty melter and they run for anywhere from One of the most important things to remember about chocolate is chocolate loves odor and hates water. If you have it in, if you put your chocolates in with something with a strong odor, it will tend to absorb that odor. And if you get any water anywhere near your chocolate, it will ruin the chocolate. So you wanna uh, just keep it away from the water and if by chance you were to mistakenly get a little water, if you're trying to melt it and some water got in there, um, take a spoon and scoop it out. Do not stir it in your chocolates. Okay, we're going to start today with the, the chocolate. We're going to use tempered dipping chocolate. And you can usually find it broken into pieces. This is a 10 pound block. You can usually find it in pieces at your uh, grocery. We're going to use tempered dipping chocolate. And you can usually find it broken into pieces. This is a 10 pound block. You can usually find it in pieces at your uh, grocery store. And they come in a lot of different varieties. But it needs to be tempered dipping chocolate. And what we do is we just take that thing that you'll always want to do is test your chocolate. When we test this, then we'll know whether or not the chocolate got too hot. If the chocolate is too hot, it will go out of temper. And what that means is the oil is separating from the chocolate. We want to constantly be stirring the chocolate and we don't want the chocolate any hotter than 90 degrees. And so the way we test it is we just put a little tip dab on our finger and put it on our parchment paper or I think you could use wax paper. And we want to just let it set there. Now it should set in three to five minutes and then we know whether our chocolate's ready for dipping. If you start dipping before the chocolate's ready, you'll have less than perfect results. Now we're going to try it again. We're going to check the chocolate a little bit more. I'm going to put another dog on here just to make sure that it's right. Now the first few times we've tried this, we're finding that the room where the chocolate is not exactly right. So I've made a small adjustment to the chocolate, drop it down uh, just one degree, and we're going to try one more time to see if we've warmed up the room enough that we're ready to dip. Now we've looked at our chocolate and we've had uh, good results. We have a nice shiny finish and so we're ready to start dipping. Now you remember the orange creams that we made. Now we're going to dip them and you want to have the um, oranges as close as you can to your chocolate and uh, we're going to do the dipping with just two fingers. So we're going to take the chocolate top side up and put it down in the chocolate, push it down in the chocolate turn it over and then we're going to pick it up with our fingers and let it rest. Now what I do is I take my next chocolate and I brush a little bit off the bottom because if you don't brush that bottom off you're going to get a puddle. And then I scrape a little bit off but not all just enough because I want a little bit in order to make my letter at the top. And I set it on the paper and I just make it nice and smooth. And then I take that leftover chocolate and make an O for orange. Dip it the top side up, push down into the chocolate, turn it over, pick it back up with your fingers. Take another chocolate and take a little bit off the bottom. And shake some of that chocolate off. Then just take a little bit off of your fingers and then set it on the paper round off any edges you think need to be rounded off and draw your letter. Now I'll show you what happens if you don't take the chocolate off of the bottom. Although you, your um, people who get it would probably love it, it just is it's a little bit harder to set in the cup. But where there's a lot on there and you set it on there, it's going to create a puddle on the bottom.
you'll notice that the chocolates, after I've dipped them in two to three minutes, they should be setting up. And you can see they're setting up as they go. And then these are just freshly dipped. And that means the chocolate is tempered well and it's just exactly the way it needs to be. You can put any kind of design that you can create on these chocolates. These have an O, but for example, let me show you how you can make a bow if you'd like to make a bow. Let's try that again. Come up, over. Oh. And just so you have a variety of chocolates, we're going to dip a few things. We made the orange creams and we made the turtles and we made toffee, so we're going to dip those. But you can also dip caramel. I've taken the caramel that we uh, had, melted it down and cut it into pieces and it's an excellent center as well and very easy to make. We'll start with the turtle. Again, right side up, push it down in the chocolate, tip it over. Turtles are one of the easiest ones to dip because they have a bigger surface and just take a little bit off of there, wipe it off again. And I like to give my turtles a little tail so they just have a real simple top and I just put a little swirl on it, just a little tail. Now we're gonna dip some of our toffee centers. And the toffee centers are square so they're a little bit, the edges can be a little bit sharper. So I'd like to spend a little bit more time um, on the top when I set them down to make sure that I have the top of the toffee covered real well. You dip them Top side up, tip them over again. These will hold, the square candies will hold a lot of chocolate on the bottom, so you want to make sure you take a lot of that off. You'll really have a puddle on the bottom of them. Then I just lay them over here, and I like to go all the way around the edge to make sure that they're covered nice. And then I just put a simple stripe on them. Okay, we're gonna take a simple kernel and put a pretty top on it and dip it, make it look really pretty. I want to make sure with the chocolate, squares that you get a lot around the edges because sometimes the edges will look a little bare. So we'll go all the way around. The top I put on a, a caramel is like make it look a little bit like a basket where you might just go back and forth. Well thanks for watching my mom's video. This means a lot to her. She's been doing it for over 20 years. We hope that the tips that you've received are helpful, and we would love to hear tips from you on how we can make our video better. So please log into our website, and we'll look forward to seeing you again.